Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today is April the 11th, uh, 2022. We're going to talk about Bitcoin, and I have just seen Bitcoin's next price movement. I'm going to reveal it to you all. I'm going to show you where I'm thinking the price in Bitcoin is going to go. Without the confusion, you guys can see that I did a price prediction in Bitcoin, and the market did not even do what I expected it to do. That is how I know that the next price movement has been revealed. So before I talk about it, welcome to the channel. This is what I do. I do price prediction without confusion. So if you guys want to learn more, if you guys just want to join the team, if you guys just want to support, hit the like button. Share the video. Also subscribe to the channel. You all will begin to know that it doesn't take a whole lot of fluff, a whole lot of hype, a whole lot of FUD, a whole lot of FOMO just to determine what people are thinking. I want to show you all. So make sure you guys keep it locked in here. So look. I did a video in Bitcoin. You guys can see it. It was on March the 28th. One thing about me is I'm fully transparent in regards to what I think price is going to do. If it goes against me, it goes against me. If it doesn't, I'll show you the good wins. I'll also show you the good the good predictions as well as the bad ones. This one turned out not so good. And even though I have the area of restrict or the support area to where I'll let the play go on, I already know that generally given the fact that bitcoin did not even go up following my initial price prediction it lets me know that there's no interest here it lets me know that the people are not willing to buy bitcoin above forty eight thousand dollars yeah this this is literally what this chart is reflecting to me right now so rather than me coming through hoping and wishing that price will eventually go back up it is already letting me know that the market is generally weak so rather than me keeping this price prediction on the table, I need to let it go and follow the market. If the market doesn't want to go up, guess what? Who am I to try to make it go up? I have not the ability to make it go up. Neither do you. So let's go ahead and get rid of this. Okay. So that's 12% right now. I've already got out of the market. Cool. It happens. But let's get back in position because if that's the case, if the market in Bitcoin, right? After I did my price prediction completely fell off then that obviously means that there's no one wanting to buy bitcoin at those price levels that's that's massive you know when you see that type of information come through that is glaringly massive information that we want to know it tells us that hey this is not the buying opportunity then so we need to try to determine on this video how low can bitcoin's price go before the new interest the new demand comes through the market where do you think that level is because I had my original restriction area up here around $52,000. Well, the market couldn't even break above 48. So I know I could bring that level down to $48,000 at least. So I'm going to do that. Okay. Now that is restriction into the market for Bitcoin. We got it. We got it. So now we already can tell that we are in a trend into the market in Bitcoin. So all is not necessarily lost. The trend is still up. So anyone who's bullish into the market of Bitcoin, rest assured that the trend is still up. So Bitcoin is still a buy from that standpoint. But from a buying standpoint, where would you want to come in and buy the market? I'm seeing two areas off the rip right now. The first one is here, $40,000. That's the first area. Then the second one is going to be down here towards the trend. 37,500 give or take somewhere around there that's it that's it right there first area forty thousand dollars second area like thirty seven thousand five hundred so if you're looking to come into the market and purchase this currency these are the areas that the buyers are willing to stand up price or we're going to expect that that's going to happen it doesn't mean that they will because they might not show up so let's look at the market in Bitcoin on a weekly time frame since we're concluding and starting out on a new trading week. I want you all to see what happened last week. And this also reveals what the market is thinking in Bitcoin. It's weak. Yeah, it's weak. The market in Bitcoin could not contribute or go further from this weekly price bar that started on March 21st, 2022. It could not follow through. We got rejected. It tried to go up last week, like the week of, of March the 28th. It tried to go up, but it failed. It couldn't do it. It couldn't break about $48,000. That is why last week, the week of April the 4th, price in Bitcoin went down. See, this is the playbook. The market is a playbook. The price chart is a playbook as to what the majority of the market is thinking, what they're doing. 
So when you look at it, it's on a two weeks time frame, look at that. Bitcoin still couldn't capitalize off of this previous two weekly price bar was begun on March the 14th. It couldn't even complete it. There wasn't no follow through. Price came back down. So yeah, I'm looking for the price of Bitcoin to come down a little bit, a little bit. You guys remember those price targets, correct? Yeah. Let's see what's going on in five day. Right here, March the 27th, 2022. Looking at that price bar, this is where it all begun. The selling, where we got the price rejected. And since that time, every five day price bar, we've been seeing the market come down. So uh, it's, it's obvious that the interest of buying Bitcoin at those price levels was not there. So why are we trying to buy it at those levels? We shouldn't be neither. The market is telling us what we need to do and it's telling us how we need to act. We should not be acting bullish right now. We need to be acting bearish. So let me push this back over to the daily time frame, okay? And let's go ahead and put on that price prediction because I've already told you those two price targets that we can see Bitcoin's price run to, right? You remember the first one? First one is around 40,000. Okay, right there around $40,000 is where we're going to look for the price of Bitcoin to possibly find the buyers. We're trying to find buyers because where the buyers are at, that's where price is going to stop falling. So the first area is around 40,000. Hey, it gives us 3.16% in profitability but hey we understand that they can pop up there the buyers can now if they don't do that second level it's going to be here around 37,000 what 700 500 dollars i told you right here alongside this trend okay right right alongside this trend is where we need to see the buyers really approach the market because if the buyers don't show up on this trend line then we're definitely trending bearish i'm just going to keep it, put it out there for you we're going to break down a lot lower. We really need to see the price in Bitcoin hold this trend because we've been maintaining this trend since 2020, September 2020. So it's almost been two years that we've noticed Bitcoin holding the trend. So we can't let the buyers, we cannot allow the sellers to break the trend on that line. We can't. So we have $40,000. The second area is like $37,500, $700. And I'm going to take it all the way down here. I'm not really necessarily looking for that to occur, but hey, I want us to be prepared. I want us to have ample amount of opportunity under the premise that price does break the trend that we could go down to that particular level, okay? Which is around $35,000. All right, so that is it. I'm here. I've shown you, I've talked about why I think Bitcoin's price is going to dip a little bit lower. We got three price targets. Go back and listen to what I said regarding those price targets. Now it's your turn though. The comment section is open for you all to drop your price target for Bitcoin as we go into the month of May. Let me know. Tell me where do you think the price is headed in Bitcoin? Up, down, sideways? What number are you looking at? Make sure you maintain the profitability and as always, trade different.